Hi, I'm Ellen from the Spellbound Bee Company. I'm going to show you how to make some super quick Halloween earrings. I'm going to start by showing you how to make the uh, pirate skull and crossbones earrings. And the owls are made in exactly the same way. And then I'm going to show you how to make the bat and moon earrings, which is a slightly different technique. All I've used to make these earrings is some skull and crossbone charms, six millimetre bicones, some three millimetre rounds, a couple of eye pins and a pair of fishhook ear wires. So all you're going to do is pick up your bicones, bicone, then a silver round and then another bicone and thread it onto your eye pin and then repeat with the other one. Bicone, round and bicone. And then we're going to trim these down. So you want your loop fairly small, so you want just under a centimetre to remain. Trim that off. And then repeat in the other one. And then you're going to turn a loop on the opposite end. So you've already got the loop on the one end. And you're going to turn the loop on the opposite end. And what you're going to do is make sure that that loop sits 90 degrees to the loop that you've just done at the bottom. And that way, when you put your earrings together, the charm will face the front rather than face the side. So you can see we've got my loop facing that way. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to turn the loop away from myself. So you can see you've got one loop that way and twist it round. You've got the other loop facing to the side. And again, do the same thing with your other one. So make a little loop, adjust it so it's nice and straight. And then all you need to do is link your earrings together. So just open the loop up at the bottom slide on your charm and close it back up make sure there's no gap whatsoever in your, in your, in your loop at the bottom so it's not going to drop off and then open up your ear wire and then it's making sure that your skull is facing the front when you thread it on and then just close it back up and there you've got one skull and crossbone earring. And then obviously, just do the same with the other one. Just open the link, pop your charm on, close your link back up. Open your ear wire and pop it on so it's facing the front. And then you've got earring with a nice little bit of movement in it. Movement and sparkle. So to make the owl earrings, I'm going to do exactly the same thing we did with the skull and crossbone earrings, except instead of using the crystal bicones, we're simply just going to thread on one eight millimeter star to make the link and then again just trim that trim that down and again turn a 90 degree loop so that your charm is facing the front so and then link again just link it together with your ear wires to make your owl earrings. As simple as that. Again, make sure that your owl faces the front. Like that. And obviously make the second one. Now to make the bat earrings, the 
pearl at the top of the earring, which we're using to represent the moon, is made into a link in exactly the same way as the other two pairs of earrings using, using an eye pin so that you've got a loop on either side. Now the bat, because the bat isn't actually a charm, so it hasn't already got a loop on it, we're going to have to thread it onto an eye pin to make it to give it its loop. So what you do is take yourself a, a head pin this time, thread it up through your bat, and again, just trim it down and make yourself a loop on the top, like so. And then again, repeat with your other bat. Trim it down and turn a loop. Now obviously because your bat is going to be have more movement, so it will turn all the way around on the bottom of your uh, on your bottom of your head pin, it doesn't actually matter so much which direction you're at the loop so you're facing. Because your bats will always turn at the bottom anyway. There's no front and back as such. Okay, so once you've made, you put your, you're happy with your loop on your bat and get it as straight as possible. All you're going to do is then just link them together. Just twist it open, link on your pearl and then twist it shut. Take yourself a ear wire, link it on, and then twist it shut. And there you've got your little bat flying under the moon. <laughs>